is it really worth putting in all the hard work and effort in school? Yes, you will see why in this next feature. Who really cares about school? It's all some stupid idea to keep us preoccupied while our parents enjoy freedom. This is what happens to people who don't care about school, drop out, and never get a degree. This is a student that cares about their score, getting high grades on every test. This is the same student later in life, ending up being a well-paid doctor. 66.2% of high school graduates are enrolled in colleges or universities. About 6 in 10 recent high school graduates enrolled in college attended four-year institutions. The unemployment rate for recent high school graduates not enrolled in school is 34.4% compared with 17.7% for recent graduates enrolled in college. Over a one-year time period, there was 370,000 high school dropouts, and 49.6% of them are jobless. Josh, what are you doing? Trying out for 8th grade sports. You haven't heard a lot about those, have you? Nope. Well, you better pay attention to this. As our 2013-2014 school year gets going, so do our sports. Here's some information about 8th grade athletics. What are the sports being played right now? In the fall, the sports that are available are football, cross country, volleyball, and cheer. Where and when do they practice? Kind of various practice locations. Usually football and cheer are going to practice here, and cross country and volleyball are going to practice at elements. Practices are every day after school. Now that you know the fall sports and all about their practices, you need to know when they compete. Competitions are really on various days for every sport. What are the available winter sports? Cheer continues on into the winter time, and then there's also boys and girls basketball and wrestling. In the when are the meetings for winter sports? The winter sport meeting will probably occur in the middle of October. When are the tryouts and how long do the seasons usually last? Tryouts will typically take place the first week of November for basketball. For wrestling, wrestling is a no-cut sport, so there isn't a tryout. For eighth grade seasons are eight to 12 weeks long. Hopefully now you all have a better understanding of how eighth grade sports work. Thank you. Hey guys, are you in any school clubs? No. I mean, I would if I knew about any. You don't know about any school clubs? Like, not even Builders Club? I uh, know. Well, then maybe you should watch this next feature to find out more about Builders Club. Do you know about any of your school clubs? If not, we're here to tell you about one fun club that you may not know about. Clubs here at school can help make new friends and get you involved more with your school. Here is one great club out of many that Discovery Middle School offers you. It is called Builders Club. Builders Club is a community service club and we do tons of projects out in the community and at our school that help people out. Um, and these projects, we have a, a lot of them you as a member can pick and choose what projects that you want to um, complete. I encourage anyone to join Builders Club uh, because it is great to give back to the community in which you live. Also, it looks really good on your college applications. Along with Builders Club comes many more. Find out about your Discovery Middle School clubs today and join. Hey Parker, have you ever wondered how things have changed in technology? Yes, I have. Let's watch this next feature to learn more. When I was in middle school, we didn't have computers. We didn't have um, typewriters even, because we did research in books. It wasn't segregated into middle school, elementary. It was one hallway of K-8 and then one more hallway of 9-12. So in 6th and 7th and 8th grade, we were just in a different room in the hallway. Um, and I, at that point, had probably 17 or 18 kids in my class. When I was in uh, junior high, I wanted to be a sports writer for Sports Illustrated. 
And then as I got into high school, I considered being a uh, English teacher. And then I eventually um, started really get into history and I decided to become a history teacher. Is your locker decorated? Do you have any special or personal items in it? Well, many students here at Discovery Middle School have many different and unique ways of decorating their lockers. Watch this next feature to see some of those unique ways. Lockers, a place to call your own. Nobody can get in them but you. Some people express themselves through their locker. Lots of my cat paintings, most of my books. I'm kind of growing. People have many different ways to decorate their lockers. I see you have a chandelier here. Why did you choose to put a chandelier in your locker? Um, well, a lot of people have them in their lockers. Hey, did you know that the contract is up in December for the vending machines? No, I didn't know that. Let's watch this next feature to find out more. The vending machines. Some people use them every day and some people don't use them at all. But what if there were no longer any vending machines at our school? That's right. The vending machine contract is up in December. And because the contract is ending, a lot of teachers would rather have the vending machines be stocked with healthier items. Mrs. Dickus, the facts teacher. As a nutrition teacher, I feel like it's important to provide the option for nutritious snacks throughout the day. Um, I like the idea of the vending machine only being on in the morning and after school. Hi, I'm Precious. Um, I don't like it because even though I don't go there very often, um, I still like them being there. So when I do have change, I can't go. Um, I could. I just like plain candy. So even if you don't like the idea of healthy alternatives, there's still a policy coming up in early 2014 that limits all vending machine snacks to be under 250 calories.